Horizon line. An interesting phenomenon. A grounding point. You are right side up. Your brain is happy. You are settled yet unsettled. There it is. I'll reach out and touch it. But you can't? So you move towards it. It seems reachable, right? You squint your eyes and think, I'm so close. It is a never-ending marker where the earth meets the sky. And that is reason enough to never stop exploring. This week, Brayden and I discuss the realities of cruising with children and how they impact route planning and our cruising itinerary. The week goes on as normal as we make preparations to leave Florida. agenda for this week. I'm going to um, try to do provisioning. Yeah, we got to get um, we got to get some electronic stuff looked at. Make sure that it's all talking together right. And um, a radar. We get a radar fixed. Yeah. What do they say when it rains it pours? <laughs> That's how Florida is. It's crazy here. I'm sorry. Yeah. This place is nice, but I can't wait to leave. This place is nice. It's really fancy. It's too fancy for I, you know what It's I don't, too fancy for Venice. You know what I don't like this place is because everyone has a big boat, so it just makes you have boat envy. Nah. Oh boy, how is this gonna work? This has been a challenge. We're not totally a fan of floating dock. Did I really just say floating dock? I meant fixed dock. And getting on, depending on the tide, can be a little tricky. This is like a couple foot gap. Okay, do you help me get on yeah, too? Yeah, your turn. Come on. This is like a, a pull-up bar. Can I show everyone my pull-up? Okay, never mind. Just kidding. It's too heavy right now. Don't you show that? Jesus. Oh, yeah. Pull the back muscle. Ow. Okay, grab it. I'm old. Hi, Fraser. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Can you stand there and I'll hand you the stuff? Fraser! Ooh, it smells good. It smells good in here. Ooh, you remember the chicken that I made earlier? Yes. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Pen. You excited? Tacos. No? This is not easy, filming stuff while you're doing stuff. All right. It's expensive stuff, be careful. Is it heavy? We absolutely have so much to get done this week, but it's kind of one of those things where you have so much to do, you don't know where to begin. That's kind of been one of the most challenging things about living on the boat is setting a schedule but you don't want to schedule, but you still need some semblance of order. So it's finding a balance uh, so you can accomplish what you need to accomplish in the week. And that has been pretty challenging, really. It's easy to let the day go by quickly. So this week it'll be pushing ourselves to get everything on the list, the list, the dreaded list done. I remember the list my parents were going to do, because yeah, they didn't do it. This week, I had great intentions for my video. Great intentions. I was planning on doing a beautiful cinematic edit of my family doing beautiful cinematic activities. didn't 
happen. And Brayden's not here with me because he is busy working. He's the busiest I've ever seen him. Oh, look who's calling. Hello? And I'm the busiest I think I've ever been in our 12 years of marriage. I thought, while we've shown you what it's like to live on a boat with kids, we have not gone into depth on why our decision making might be different from a cr different cruiser demographic, like a retired couple or a younger couple that's sailing around the world or a family with older children. Then there's us. We are newbie family to the cruising world with young children and two dogs. I think that that's like the insane category. So for everyone out there that's in wants to be insane, here's some tips for you on why decision-making might be a little bit different. Cruising with kids, you have to be flexible, really flexible, like not downward dog, tree pose, savasana flexible, and then plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, because those probably won't work either. And then you have to create another plan. And I know there's captains and cruisers out there laughing at me like, amateur, doesn't she know the weather controls everything? Yeah, I do now, so thank you. I worry about safety, deck safety, safety in other countries, safety in all terms. It adds to your decision-making, it adds to your stress, especially as a mom. Provisioning is different. It's not just about the food, it's about activities that the kids can do while you're underway besides being iPad zombies. So it's about finding coloring supplies and toys and oh, anything that does not contain Play-Doh, glitter, or slime. And we're pretty much good. I do all of the editing and homeschooling and social media and cooking. And Brayden does most of the uh, mechanical work works with the technicians in port. He does his work on top of that, and he does the budget. The sites and activities we choose to see are probably different than the average demographic for a cruiser. Hey, Brayden. Yeah. What are we doing? Flying kites. These are kites that we got for the boat. Don't we have a lot to get done? Today? What are you talking about? We're on permanent vacation. There's nothing to get done ever. Yeah, there's a list. But we gotta fly kites every once in a while, even though the list still exists. Brayden's been retrieving kites for the last like 20 minutes and getting exceedingly frustrated because he has a dog, two kids, and two kites. To be honest, I'm not helping because it's very funny. We're looking for the nearest and bestest, coolest playground there is right when we get into port. And then we all go crazy for a couple of hours and then come back and crash on the boat. We look for local libraries to give us activities, story time, music time, just a social community for the kids to enjoy for a little bit. We're not hiking 20 miles and we're not scuba diving all day. Ultimately, we're finding a balance. It's hard to find a balance in your life hard to find routine in a very non-routine life. It's an interesting concept because there's so many things on this boat that have to be maintained routinely or they fall apart. But your life and schedule has to be really flexible if you want to keep moving. So inevitably you have to find a balance. We're learning what to let go of, where to put more energy towards, and how we can help our kids be educated and free and they can explore but not turn into complete wild and crazy fire-breathing baby dragons. <laughs> it's Game of Thrones week, I don't know. I'm gonna go try to find Brayden. If you see him, please let him know where I am. Give him a holler, tell him hi for me. <laughs> In the meantime, I proudly present, and without further ado, a little clip of Rooney and Penn's Magnetile and Hot Wheel Car Show. One dollar for that and one dollar for that. What will one dollar get us? Uh, it would get you... Here's my one dollar. Can I please have some food? What do you recommend? You only get a little green titsy. What do you recommend? You only get a little titsy for one dollar. Do you have any specials? Any specials? Lunch specials? I'm on what do you want? What do you want? Because I'm All we have is food and candy. 
this and this. This, this is yeah. strawberries and this is. How come there's holes in the uh, lids? Because we want to show you what it is. Yes, yeah, sir. So you can see you what which fruit you want. Oh. Okay. You, this I'll go for that. Tootsie roll, roll for a buck. One dollar. So which one do you want? Dots. I don't like dots. Do you want these? How much do I get for that? Uh, this is like you can get a strawberry or an apple. That's for ten dollars. I can get a strawberry or an apple. Yeah, or an orange. Okay. Got him. So here's your candy. And the these part. two will be these two will be seven dollars. Seven dollars. Seven. Seven dollars. Wow, okay. What if an entire toy is like seven dollars? I know. Yeah, but you're out of play. It's expensive. Okay. Can I have change back? Uh, no. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> we have a tip. It's a tip? So you sit up Whoa, there. Whoa, what you, is happening? You sit up here and and you watch it. Okay. Please go right under the lizards. And please do the tower of salad. What do you think of their show? I think they're onto something. And they're in five years of an Oscar, I think. I'm really excited for this Oscar. So as you can see, boat life is not always about oil changes and chart plotting. For us, it is more about making decisions that will help our kids develop into creative adults. And all the hardships of living life aboard will be worth it.